Hacking the Accurate Smart Hub. The Accurate Smart Hub is a device that receives data wirelessly between various Accurate sensors and forwards that data to servers on the internet. A few years ago, I installed a 3-in-1 sensor as well as an Accurite Smart Hub. The 3-in-1 sensor collects wind speed data, temperature, and humidity. The feed worked well, but the data was only being sent to Weather Underground every 15 to 18 minutes. It was quite disappointing. However, recently Accurate upgraded both the firmware in their hub and their back-end servers to include not only a much nicer web interface, but rapid updates directly to Weather Underground. I was intrigued by these updates, so I decided to upgrade my weather station to the larger 5-in-1. This added wind direction and rain gauge to my setup. But I wondered, how is all this data moving from my station to Weather Underground? I couldn't imagine Accurite capturing and forwarding all this data themselves. That would be a lot of traffic. So it was time for a packet sniff. So here's a live packet capture, and what you can see on the uh, top window is basically all the posts uh, or guest gets, I should say, that are being done by my um, smart hub to Accurite. So that would be this line here. Uh, the lines that show weatherstation.php with the ID of my station, this is actually a weather underground post. So what's happening here is every uh, you know 18 seconds or so, the device is sending weather data to Accurite for their website but then it's also sending um, data directly to Weather Underground, so it's not going through the Accurate servers. Now this is quite intriguing because uh, this means that somehow the Accurate Smart Hub, which does not have a configuration interface, you, you configure everything through Accurate's website, somehow Accurate is sending configuration data to the hub over the HTTP channel. Um, so I decided to, to check this out and figure out how that's happening. So first I, I want to point out here, um, so we'll look at this packet right here where it's talks about sending data to Weather Underground. Um, if you look at the lower window, you can see my live feeds. You see here, you know, up last updated eight seconds ago. Um, well, watch that update. You'll see from the time that the next weather station, uh, dot PHP script hits, uh, the next get to that URL, which should come up here quite shortly, you're going to see the update happen live right on the Weather, weather Underground site. So there's the post. And there's the update. I mean, it's almost instantaneous, which is quite impressive. So now the question becomes is how did we, how did the configuration information get to the hub from the, the website, um, from Accurite's website? So let's, let me show you the, my next screen cap here. This is, um, this is a, a packet, a capture of, um, so the weather station update. So you can see here, this, this line here is where the packet gets sent. And then here's the acknowledgement from the server. And what I want to point out here is these last two, uh, responses in the, um, you know, there's a JSON object attached to the uh, OK packet that comes back from the servers. And this is normal, a normal response. However, if you go to the, the Accurate website to make an update to your sharing information on which um, unit, you know, you want to share your data from to the Weather Underground site, somehow Accurate has to push that to the smart hub. And the way they do that is actually, you know, using this JSON object in a reply. So it still waits for the hub to, to, to call home, but when it acknowledges um, the packet received, it then sends back configuration information. And this is very clear uh, in the next packet. So if this is the request and then here's the response. And you can see, I'm not gonna open this up because clearly it contains some sensitive information, but um, basically there's some keys here, identifying my unit and, the, and my weather underground password uh, and that's being fed to the unit, uh, and then the unit subsequently starts making updates, and you can see that right here um, directly to uh, Weather Underground at this point using the new information. You don't see it here because I've hidden it just to not uh, reveal some of the sensitive information. There's no HTTPS here. This is all being done on an unencrypted channel, which I find a bit surprising, uh, and also contrary to what looks like Weather Underground's policy. It looks like they, in their sample for their API, they're showing HTTPS as their connectivity, um, URL, but for some reason Accurate's using HTTP and it's being accepted by uh, Weather Underground. So, so there you have it. That's the sniffing and the hacking that I've done. Uh, the last slide I guess I'll show you is what the new interface looks like, and this is it here. It's uh, it's quite neat. You can click on the various uh, pieces of information and just get a, a graph, as well as there's a much more detailed graph in the uh, charts and details section. I have my two sensors running here, both the old and the new are running simultaneously. 
and uh, showing you know pretty pretty close data. Uh, they're not physically located next to each other, so the wind speeds are a little bit uh, different from time to time. But yeah, so that's it. So I hope this was helpful, and uh, and thanks for watching.